Okay, salamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This would be a um, a video about sample problems when it comes to um, um, the algebra of functions. Okay, so I will be just giving you random um, combinations of operations on um, on the on these functions, and then um, we will evaluate them. Okay, we will try to solve for them. Okay, so the first one that I will be giving you guys um, would be okay. Say we have f plus g minus h i of x. Okay? I know, not, not of x. Let's write it already as an of, um, of 1. Okay? So what do we need to do here? First things first, we need to substitute our values for f, g, h, and i. And of course, be reminded of the different operation that, it, um, that is happening between them. So we have f, we write it down. We have parenthesis plus 2. Okay, and then our g is um, negative 3x squared plus 1. And then our h minus, our h is x squared plus 2x plus 1. And our i is just simply times x plus 1. Let me fix my x a little, it's a little bit tall. Okay. We have x plus 1. Okay, and then what's the next thing we need to do? The next thing is we need to substitute that one to all the values of x's. So I hope you have you remember our dis previous discussion regarding this. And on this case, let me just move my equal sign para so that it will fit. Um, just a reminder for you guys so that it will not be confusing. In this um, given, you change all the parentheses into brackets. Okay, so I will put a bracket and then substitute. When you substitute, always place a parenthesis. So you will notice this is the same as x plus 2 with a parenthesis. Okay, what happened here? The parenthesis in the original became brackets. And then when you substitute to x, always put a parenthesis. So that it will not be confusing if there would be negative numbers or any other operations. Okay, same. We have plus bracket negative 3 parenthesis 1 squared plus 1 bracket. So, this is the same as negative 3x squared plus 1. Okay? And then we go minus bracket parenthesis 1 squared plus 2 parenthesis 1 plus 1 bracket. So, this is equals to x squared plus 2x plus 1 but the x is um, substituted with the positive 1. And then we have bracket x plus 1, that is 1, parenthesis plus 1. And evaluating this one, the way I like to evaluate would be um, cancel, I cancel out values. And I, of course, I follow PEMDAS or GEMDAS. This is 1. This is also 1. This would be 2. And next, 2 plus 1 is um, 3. And this one. Let me just put my addition below. This is 3. And then negative 3 times 1, the answer is negative 3. Okay? Negative 3 plus 1. Ulitin ko lang. Baka I think I said the wrong thing. Okay? Negative 3 times 1, the answer is negative 3. And then you have negative 3 plus 1. The answer is plus negative 2 minus. This is 1 times 1 plus 2. Okay, 1 plus 2 plus 1, the answer would be 4. And then we have bracket pa rin. Yan. Let's put the bra back the brackets. And then we will have bracket 1 plus 1, the answer is 2. Evaluating this one further will give us 3 plus negative 2. And 4 times 2, the answer is simply 8. Okay, so let's use the calculator na. 3 plus negative 2 minus 8 the answer is negative 7 so eva this is ano uh, this is substitution for the functions and at the same time evaluation of the given okay so let's have another example let me move my 7 a little bit up that's not in on okay this is equals to negative 7 next example say we have um g h over i minus f of say um, negative 1 
It could be any number. Right? It could be any number. Maybe let's use negative 4. Yeah. So let's write it down first. Our g is negative 3x squared plus 1. And then that is times x, h, which is x squared plus 2x plus 1. All over, our i is just simply x plus 1. Always put the parentheses. Minus parenthesis f is x plus 2. The next thing we need to do is we need to substitute that negative 4 to all the x's and of course change the given into brackets. Yung parenthesis natin our answer. So we have negative 3 parenthesis negative 4 squared plus 1 bracket. We have parenthesis negative 4 squared plus 2 times negative 4 na parenthesis still plus 1 bracket all over. We have bracket, parenthesis negative 4, plus 1, bracket, minus, bracket, parenthesis negative 4, plus 2, bracket. What do we need to do? We need to cancel out. Ako, ang ginagawa ko again, I cancel out because it's easier for me. Negative 4 squared is um, 16. And 16 times negative 3, let me just use my calculator, it's simply negative 48. Yan. And then we have negative 4 squared is 16. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And this one, okay, evaluate na natin to. Negative 4 plus 1, the answer is um, negative 3. Negative 4 plus 2, the answer is negative 2. So let me write down, kasi you might feel confused. Lahat ng natira, all the things that are left, we write it down. Okay, lahat everything that is not cancelled out negative 48 plus 1 and then the bracket next bracket again 16 plus negative 8 plus 1 16 plus negative 8 plus 1 bracket all over bracket negative 3 this one minus bracket negative 2 and then, of course, let's uh, just uh, evaluate this one further. Double negative, so this becomes plus, let me just cancel this out, plus 2. This one, negative 48 plus 1, the answer is a uh, negative 47. And this one is 16, plus negative 8, plus 1, the answer is simply 9. Okay? And let's uh, write it down further um, below so that you can see. This is equals to negative 47 bracket times 9 bracket divided by negative 3 bracket plus 2. Inalis ko na kasi yung bracket yan. So what would happen here? Let me erase this one first. Yeah. What would happen here? Simplification negative 47 times 9 divided by negative 3 let's uh, i-diretso na natin divided by negative 3 the answer is 141 plus 2 and 141 plus 2 the answer is 143 okay so the difficult part here is some um, evaluation of ano of the order of operation but then again uh, practice makes perfect okay so this would be our answer for g of gh so this let's read this one g h over i minus f of negative 4 okay and that is one example and let's uh, just have some simple examples say i have f plus g of 2 our f let me just take a look x plus 2 and negative 3 x squared plus 1 so it's equals to x plus 2 plus negative 3 x squared plus 1 Am I correct? Okay, good. So, let's substitute our 2. So, that would be bracket, parenthesis 2 plus 2, bracket, bracket, negative 3, parenthesis 2 squared, plus 1, bracket. Solving this one, let's try to simplify. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 squared is, uh, I 2 squared is 4. And 4 times negative 3, the answer is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 1, the answer is negative 11. Okay, and multi uh, adding them, kasi we have addition, 4 plus negative 11, the answer is just simply, um, what to call, negative 7. 
Okay? And let's, let's have our final example. Say we have um, H over I of negative 12. Yeah, negative 12. H is X squared, parenthesis plus 2X plus 1, over, this is um, X plus 1. So, let's substitute properly. Bracket, X is negative 12 squared, plus 2, negative 12, plus 1, bracket, all over, bracket, 12, negative 12, plus 1. And let's try to evaluate. Negative 12 squared is negative is positive 144, I would guess. Okay. And then 2 times negative 12, the answer is negative 24. Let's add them up. The answer would be 144 minus 24 plus 1. The answer is 121. And this one, the answer here would be negative 11. So this is negative 11. It will ultimately give us the answer of negative 11 as well because 20, 1 to 1 divided by negative 11 the answer is negative 11 so that would be the answer for h over i of negative 12 so these are just sample problems for our um, order of operations uh, included in the operation on um, what they call operation on functions okay so that would be all everyone thank you for listening if you would have any other questions you can ask me in our class or chat me in our group. Thank you for listening and Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.